All right, after that nice little bit of train B roll, I'm at um, where am I? Cannon Hill. It's finished work, and I am coming here to meet my uncle, who uh, I'm going to go and play video games with. All you guys know, obviously, with all the videos that I have dumped onto YouTube, <laughs> playing different things. I'm into video games, and especially arcade games because that's how I came up. And I mean, a lot of us are all kind of the same -ish age, and I'm kind of on the young side compared to a lot of you, but arcades is how most of us came up, if you're into video games. So, the only problem I have is that I am roughly 50 minutes early for this rendezvous, so I need to go and amuse myself somehow. So this exposure is really terrible, but anyway, that's where I am, that's what I'm doing. Let's do it. So as with most of these kinds of little trips and meet so meetups and that kind of thing, I've really planned this pretty horribly. I was running out of um, battery on my uh, mobile and I don't have a charger. Even if I did have a charger, there's no real. I'm at a flipping train station. I thought that I might be able to get a power bank or something. Nothing there. So they had uh, like a bike store, a like a couple of restaurants and stuff, but nowhere where I could get anything like that so my uh, my phone is running out of battery really quickly um, my uncle though is only about 10 minutes away or so then we can go and um, get this show on the road but yeah it's been a, uh, a boring old 30 minutes sitting around here besides the fact that I'm just waiting to get jumped because well, not really, but Simone was um, saying to me before I left, because she didn't know that I was catching the train out this way, and she was saying to me before I left that apparently there's been a spate of, like, attacks on people at train stations, which, to be honest, I mean, look at the place. Not this place specifically, but I mean, you know, Australia in general. I wouldn't be, wouldn't be too terribly surprised. But anyway... Hopefully Ellen will be here in the next little while and then we can jump in the car, get something to eat and go and play some freaking video games. Also, um, I will try and film in the place just so you can see what it looks like and all that kind of junk, but um, I don't know how cool they are, so we'll just see what happens when I get there. Well, I'd be surprised if you can hear anything, but we're in the arcade. This is One Up Arcade uh, in Morningside in Brisbane and this place is amazing so you play you pay a flat fee of like fifteen dollars uh, per person and then all of these arcade games around here that you can see are all free to play well not free to play but you know they're, they're tapped so um any of the games that you want to play here uh besides the pinball machines we have got all these pinball machines along here that you can like pay uh, extra i don't know extra amount to play or whatever Something like that, I know. But it's so cool. They're all like literally all the 90s, you know, 80s and 90s games that I used to play in the arcades. And this place is full of them. There's just like, there's games everywhere. I was actually just looking at uh, the old Marvel vs. Capcom and Marvel superheroes and those kinds of things. You see here, we got like X Men vs. Street Fighter. Like, so many different old games that I used to play when I was a kid like when I was in high school and that kind of stuff so I'm gonna stop talking to you and uh, actually get into these games all right, bye. all right just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here this is a Space Invaders arcade like OG cabinet like see like the machine is in the um, in the bottom sorry the the uh, the monitor is in the bottom of the screen there with the um, with the mirror to do the thing. I don't have words right now, I'm so tired, but look how cool that is. I wish I had a bit of better light, but obviously it's dark so that it's a, you know, better arcade. We've got a scramble machine here. Karate Champ. Like so many old video games that you won't see anywhere. Also because Australia's got shitty arcades, but Blood Brothers, which I actually used to play quite a lot. Um, yeah, so this place is awesome. Uh, we got a, uh, here we got an old school Bubble Bubble. 
We've got whatever this is. I don't even know what that is. We've got a Mr. Doom Machine. Oh, Titan Resto. The, the coolest thing about these um, machines as well is they have like the art on some of the old ones and stuff. They have that old art that like, I think in the 90s when uh, arcades became more popular and the whole trend of, holy hell, I'm talking about trends of arcades and stuff. I just realized I'm standing next to a Pong machine. Like a legit Pong machine with the dials. That is ridiculous. Look at that. That's beautiful. So I don't know how long we're gonna be here, but uh, I could be here for the rest of the day slash night. Not a problem at all. So I'm gonna do this and next time I see you, we'll probably be going to get something to eat, maybe in a couple of hours. Look, jaundice. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, we just, uh, Alan and I just went and finished, uh, um, having something to eat at, um, some Euro shop. Euro, it's like a Greek kebab. So it's just like kebabs, so if you don't have to worry about giving money to ISIS, always good. Yeah. Uh, we're going back into the arcade. Um, we actually, we were here for two hours, which I couldn't believe when he said that, because I was like, oh, that's all right. We arrived at five and we left at seven. Pretty unassuming place too, I'll just show you. So it's basically like there's um, one big warehouse joint. Um, when you first go in, there's a, the arcade is on the right hand side when you walk in. And then straight ahead of you, there's like a CrossFit gym. That's like, yeah, what a crazy combination of things. Like there's people just like sitting around pushing buttons and there's dudes next door busting their bloody butts open trying to be the best guy who can jump up on a box or something <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna get back to it um, yeah that's all I have for today anyway God bless look after each other and I'll see you in the next one bye